Hi, year 12s, it's Mr. Lim again. This is the fourth video on the oxidation of primary alcohols. Okay, so uh, this is what we're going to be learning about. Um, let's have a look. So, primary alcohols can undergo oxidation in two ways. Number one is via combustion with excess oxygen, where they produce carbon dioxide and water. And remember, if you've got a limited oxygen, you will produce carbon monoxide and water. Okay, um, or you can oxidize them with an oxidizing agent. Uh, where they will produce aldehydes, and we'll learn about more about them later on. Okay, let's have a look. Combustion is the same as combustion of hydrocarbons, but the extra oxygen in the alcohol just changes how you balance the equation. So you just got to consider that. So let's just try the combustion of methanol. So methanol, uh, CH4, O, right, with some oxygen. Okay, yeah, we'll make carbon dioxide and water. Okay, so that's nice and straightforward. Let's go see. We've got to balance out the carbons. It's balanced. Got to balance out the hydrogens. Uh, let's put a two here. And then how many waters, how many oxygens have I got? I got one, two, three, four. I've got three oxygens on here, so that's not going to work. So let's go try putting a two here. Let's get rid of that. Let's put two of those. I'll need four of those now. And so now I need to get four plus four is eight. I've got two there, so I need three there. Okay, a good way to always check that you've balanced it correctly is that the number for the oxygen should be an even, on, sorry, an odd number, All right? And that will uh, just make sure that you can't divide everything by two. Okay, so that's the combustion of methanol. Uh, the combustion of one octanol. Let's just do this uh, a bit easier. Let's do this as the molecular formula C8H. Now remember, with this OH group, you're effectively replacing a hydrogen with an OH, which means that you're just effectively just adding an oxygen into it. Okay, that back there. All right, so that means that this is an alkane because it's an octanol which means that it will follow the CNH2N plus 2 rule, which means that it will be, what's that, 18. And then there's just going to be an extra oxygen there as well for the one octanol. Okay. There's the oxygen, there's the carbon dioxide and the water. Let's balance this. Uh, let's see, 8, 9. That's not going to work because I've got an uneven number of um, uh, actually, no, that might work. See how. All right. So let's see how many things have I got here. I got 16 and uh, 9. 16 and 9 is 25. I'll need to make 24 of them here, which means that I'll have a 12. Oops, a 12 here, and that should be balanced. All right. So there you go. Okay, that's how you balance out some uh, alcohol combustion. Okay, so we talked about alcohols and they being oxidized by oxidizing agents into aldehydes and aldehydes are structures which end with CHO. We're going to be learning more about that later, but that's generally, they look like that. Okay, and so for every alcohol ox group oxidized into an aldehyde, uh, an aldehyde group, uh, there are two hydrogens lost as ions and two electrons are lost. And so I guess I haven't mentioned this probably in the start part, but this is of primary alcohols. Okay, primary alcohols only uh, will form aldehydes. So let's have a look. Uh, oxidation with a sufficiently strong oxidizing agent, usually as a self-indicating oxidant, as acidified dichromate, okay, or acidified permanganate, uh, which this is orange, this is purple. Okay, um, you need to make sure that uh, this is usually just for a um, for identifying whether something is occurring, whether this oxidation is occurring. We use a self-indicating oxidizing agent, but if you were to manufacture these aldehydes, you'd use something else. All right, but um, for uh, waste chemistry, we'll just deal with like identifying alcohols, not really necessarily manufacturing them. Okay, so. Um, so let's go do the oxidation of 4-methyl-1-octanol. Okay. Okay, it's a 
primary alcohol. How do we know it's a primary alcohol? Because it's got a one octanol. Okay, so the oxidation of four methyl one octanol. So we've already said that uh, the octanol was C8H18, but because we've got a four a methyl group on it, it's going to be C9 H uh, H twenty. Yep. O. Right. Now we're gonna to have to show this as condensed structural form. That otherwise, this is not gonna make sense. Okay. So let's just write this out. Uh, octanol one, two, three. Now on the fourth one, there is a side group of the methyl group. Um, four. Uh, one, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so that's uh, four methyl octanol. Why did I choose such a long thing to make? All right, um, we're going to oxidize it into its aldehyde form, which means it's going to form, and this is going to be terrible. CH three CH two bracket. 2, okay, CH, bracket CH3, CH2 in brackets, how many times? 1, 2, 3 times, and then CHO. Okay, so you notice that I've condensed that one there as those two there, and that uh, part there as that part there, just because you can, and I'm lazy. All right. So this is the aldehyde group over here. Okay, that's what it's formed. Um, that's how you would write it. So generally we put the alcohol groups and stuff on the end if we can, and then we have the aldehyde group written nicely there. But if, you was, if it was on the other side, you would write it as uh, OHC, which is a bit silly looking, but that's what it would be. Okay, but you know we don't do that normally. And then reading here, for every alcohol group oxidized into an aldehyde group, there are two hydrogens lost as ions and two electrons are lost. Okay, so it's oxidation, it's loss of electrons, which means that we're going to put the electrons over here. So if you hadn't noticed that, we started with CH2OH, and now we only have CHO, so we have lost two hydrogens, so two hydrogen ions and two electrons. Okay, and that would be the equation there. Okay, um, yep. Uh, we're not going to do this one propanol. That was uh, too long. That took too long. You can try it yourself. Oh, okay, fine. We'll just do an oxidation of methanol. That looks easy enough. C H three O H. Okay. Going to form methanol. C H O H. No, C H. No, no. Methanol is written like this. H C H O. All right. The idea is that it looks like this. There's your aldehyde group, and it's only got the bonding capacity for one extra hydrogen. Okay. This one here is the C H three O H. Okay. So, how do you do that? You just add extra couple of electrons and a couple of extra hydrogen ions, and there you've done a, a oxidation of this methanol. All right. You have a go of this one chloroethanol, um, and then you can have a try the other ones that we've skipped through in the video, and that will be that for oxidation of primary alcohols.